Hi all, in this video we are going to see how to enable the DTMF to an intent and uh, then we will make a test call also, okay. So before moving on, uh, just a request to everyone who are watching this video to subscribe to the channel. 92% of people who are watching this uh, video are not subscribing to the channel. Uh, and if you are coming from the Google search and if it helps you, don't forget to give super thanks. And as always, give a like and subscribe, right? Okay, uh, so where I was, right? So once you, oops, sorry. Okay, so once you create a dialog flow, right? And this is mostly a speech enabled, right? But if you want to enable something called DTMF, which is like a press key tone from your mobile, right? Uh, you have to perform certain settings, right? So let's say if we have created sales and for the sales, we want to enable DTMF one option. But if you see over here, there is no option given over here, right? And if you go to the, your intent side, right? So we created something called sales. So let's say sales will be one. And you can see over here DTMF pattern, right? But before enabling that, uh, we have to go to the agent settings under the speech IVR. You have to enable this one. What it does is it allow you to set uh, DTMF, right? And also the certain configuration gets allowed to your project, okay? And once you do that, what you will see that in your page level also. So if I go back to my page and my page was main menu, right? Over here also I can enable the DTMF, right? So that also you can do. So it can do either in the agent level or you can do into the page level. And if you want to do any uh, like star and hash to, for the end digit, you can configure over here. So we are not going to do that for now. Uh, click discard because we have enabled for the whole page, a uh, whole agent. Okay. Now what I will do is I will go to my sales. So for let's say we will say sales will be one. Okay and click save and uh, service will be two okay so when user press two it will trigger this one and what we will do is we will little bit modify the prompt that we have right uh, so this is our welcome and what you are saying is hello please say sales or press one or service service vic or press two okay something like that we have done click save and click close i know it doesn't get save always okay so now we have done uh, what i will do is i will just uh, do a testing over here okay and once we say hi let me see if this one works one send new DTMF input here, yeah, new DTMF input. Yeah, so it is working. And similarly, if I test for first, I will say hi. I will also make a call, but for that, I have to purchase the number that I will do. Uh, not purchase, uh, enable the number. I click two, it should say service. Okay, so DTMF is working fine. What I will do is I will go to my manage and integration and close over here click on manage create new country code click request i will get this number uh, test or whatever the name we want to give and click save okay what i will do is i will quickly dial this number So I'm using a software called Reptile. There is no shout out for this, but uh, sorry, this is not a paid campaign. But yeah, Reptile is if you want to dial a US free number. Okay, so I'm dialing around. Hi, how may I help you? Please say sales or press one or service or press two. You have reached sales department. Okay, so I press one and it has reached to the sales department. I will also call and uh, press the number two. Hi, 
Hi, how may I help you? Please say sales or press 1 or service or press 2. You have reached service department. Okay. So as you can see, uh, we are able to trigger the DTMF. We can see the details over here. If I go to my conversation history, you should know where it should come. Uh, change history test case should be in the conversation history, but nothing is here. Uh, did I enable something? I forgot to enable maybe something like that. Okay, so we have some interaction in interaction agent live of we don't have uh, sales and analyze troubleshoot blah 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 no, no, no. Okay, yeah, so we don't have anything right now uh, with respect to the logs enabled conversation history. I will click again to see if anything flow table no nothing. Okay, anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. We will see the logging in we move to the end of the chapter in terms of the debugging okay but yeah this is how to enable uh, go to the your intents and within the intents uh, which you have for particular menus right you can give uh, one and two and all this thing okay but uh, remember if you are using this intent in several places and if the position of dtmf changes then you have to uh, uh, create multiple intents okay with the same training phrases and give you different name and then you can have a different detail of pattern if that is a case of scenario or that is a requirement okay mostly it should be you can configure it to have like uh, two always for the service one always for the sales right so that way you can handle it okay so yeah that's all from my side on how to enable the dtmf thank you have a nice day